everybody. Christopher Kelly, managing producer of entertainment for NJ.com here, joined once again by our food dude, Pete Genovese. Hey. Pete, it's like I died and went to jerky <laughs> heaven. Uh, for folks watching at home, Pete has uh, recently returned from a place called, the rather declaratively called oh, Beef, Beef Jerky, jerky outlet. outlet. In case you, you know, they want you to be clear, you didn't walk in any other store. You're at the Beef Jerky Outlet. They have their own t-shirt. Show <laughs> folks. This, please don't send us angry letters because I'm just as upset. People eating tasty animals. People eating tasty animals PETA. They're, so they're so it's actually a nationwide chain. Well, show, the, they, show the back of that because oh, that's really the disturbing yes, part. Yes. This is, just makes me sad. For, for <laughs> folks at home, if it has a name, it's a pet. If not, make jerky out of it. I really don't know how I feel about that t-shirt. And they have. Um, they have They yeah. have made jerky. Let's let, rattle through a few of these. What do we got well, this is, well, let's go. So it's a beef jerky outlet in Atlantic City, of all places. You would think of Atlantic City. So it's a nationwide chain. This is the only beef jerky outlet north of Virginia, anywhere along the coast. And they decided to open up in Atlantic City in the outlet store. It's right across from a Bass Pro Shop, which is a nice combination. And uh, just opened a few months ago. And I was in there uh, Friday afternoon, mid-afternoon. You know, it was a gorgeous beach day. The place was packed. The place was packed. Yep. People were bringing out shopping bags of jerky. Let, now, let, less people think they're just going to go and get some Slim Jim. No, the, this actually, is some complex stuff. Yeah, there's no there's no Slim Jims anywhere to be seen. These are made uh, for them. There's no uh, <coughs> Jack Link. So Slim Jim and Jack Links are the two big names. And and if you and in case you want to laugh at you know, people like jerky, that was like my dad ate that back in the fifties or something. It's this year in convenience stores, which of course which is where you find jerky usually, one billion dollars. Convenience stores will sell one billion dollars. One billion dollars worth of jerky this year. Wow. Jerky is everywhere. Well and, and again, th th this is no slim jim because you go in here and you can get Pheasant <laughs> on a stick. Pheasant with pork stick. I mean, this is, they're not kidding. They are really, you know, taking some, we got wild boar, Bar. we have elk, we have, I, I don't even know what this one is. This is smoked, smoked venison. venison. We got a little gator. Um, yeah, gator. They, they are not fooling. Pete, um, we're going to do a little tasting here. Okay. But first. You're not going to be uh, offended by eating Bambi here? No, no, no. I eat anything. Right. I eat anything. Except, as we anything. know. Except <laughs> must be ketchup else. on hamburgers. <laughs> yeah, and a, um, six million other things. I'm an adventurous eater, but I have strong opinions. That's right. the thing. Um, but how much is this setting me back? This, this. Uh, uh, if I want a wild boar with uh, with pork meat snack, chopped and formed. The price is varied. I don't, uh, they were like five, six bucks. You know, again, you know, Slim Jim, maybe a little bit more because Slim more than Jim's it will cost you three, four dollars. Sure. sure. Yeah. And they had actually, I, I should have brought one, but I'm not sure I could have expensed it. They had like a, a six foot high hunk of jerky. I would not have approved that expense. Yeah. That, no. That's why I didn't no. buy it. I'm so. kidding. I approve everything. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's let's try let's try elk. Okay. I, I don't know if I've ever had elk actually. But let's let's. Uh, do, you, do you want to try this one? I tried. Yeah, I tried these. Um, this was uh, yeah. The whole Morocco like bacony. Oh, that is delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It does have a distinct taste. It's not beef. You can tell it's not beef. Mm. It's sort of tastes like buffaloish. I'm going to tell you a couple of things. This is not as salty as you normally think mm -hmm. jerky is going to be, right. and this has a really like deep smoky flavor to it. It's really nice. Huh. Yeah, so there's two kinds of uh, jerky, dehydrated and smoked jerky. Smoked is generally a little tender, uh, more tender than the uh, dehydrated. This was my, this was definitely one of my favorites. This is just delicious. This is really good. Buffalo jerky, spicy. It's not really spicy. Okay, so this is buffalo jerky. All right. Again, okay, smoked. This reminded me of um, shoe leather, so a cross between like shoe leather and uh, tree bark. But now, it's very delectable. Now, Pete, those are two things I don't usually dig into. For Just look so good. Yeah. This reminded me. Remember uh, Robert Redford, Jeremiah sure. Johnson? Sure. This would be sure. like he was eating stuff off of trees. This would be like what he would be eating. I, that. I recall that film, but I don't recall thinking, boy, I'd like to eat some of that tree bark. Uh, yeah. But you know, okay, let's. It let's had a really this. great, little spicy, not too spicy. But it doesn't. The texture is great. It's not. It feels like eating like somebody's shoe, <laughs> but a tasty, but a tasty shoe. Well, it's not bad either. I yeah. like the. Yeah, I, I definitely like the beef more, not the buffalo more. Oh, that's got a little spice. It does. It's a little bit. You can see the whole so much that I'm going to start coughing uncontrollably <laughs> on camera. Um, Don't Pete, do let's that. let's try some of these more offbeat things. We got some gator yeah, here. Gator was. Let's okay. cut me a piece of that. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, I like the. Uh, so. I'll see our cameraman is uh, This, our cameraman's dipping in. 
See, see that's not that has a distinct taste too. Yeah, here's it's the got thing. that gator chicken sort of taste. This is nothing against the jerky company who are, are very accomplished, <laughs> um, based on what I'm trying here. I just don't love gator. I'm not a huge gator guy, so. I can um, see that with a nice little like a dipping sauce or a little chili powder or something, something to bring up the heat a little bit. Um, but really, I mean, all of these have a nice. What's it, so this one? Let, let's try the, the venison one. Can I take a little piece okay, there? Okay, we're going after Bambi. I love, oh. Let's see what we got here. That this looks like a congealed syrup or something. It has a funky look to it. Looks like something you'd slip in a no bad. Halloween uh, bag. No bad. Um, oh, yeah, the out. Uh, very chewy. Your teeth were not like this at all. <laughs> it was, it's the chewiest, uh, the hardest chewiest. Boy, this is this is uh, this is better than my oh, lunch today, which was which was vegetable. Oh, you uh, gotta get soup. off that kale, the um, kale diet. No, I, I did. Bore. I will do a little bit while bore. No, but the reason I, I I went and had vegetable soup for those following at home, my uh, my diet, because I knew I'd be trying some jerky this afternoon. I so. see. Right. Here with the wild boar. Wild boar, made with now it's very. Um, a lot of these have pork added, even like mm. the they pork in just to fill it out. But it makes a note here, meat from feral swine. That's always good to know. I want my swine to be wild. And, well, and no, I mean, that, uh, this isn't, I mean, they're not putting it together from um, yeah. Yeah, from, from farmed pigs. You yeah. know, who needs that? Who needs that health health uh, no. guarantee? Um, That's a very, so, I like how they're all different. That You really, even if you're a, a jerky beginner, these all have distinct flavors. They really do. They really yeah. do. I wish yeah. folks could try these. Um, and I'm sure there's nothing more fascinating than watching me try food repeatedly on camera, but the, I'm just going to try this one as the well. The two guys who owned the place, um, the one owner I talked to, he was raving about the pheasant, which is what we're trying now. Oh, you always want to get that. Pool. If you want your pheasant, you want it on that a stick. That is really delicious. Oh, my God. We have a jerky convert here. You have, you guys. Have, no, Open your world? He, Open your eyes? I, I'm, I, I'm speaking on behalf of the people. Oh, is that what you're doing? And, and I guarantee I you, most people <laughs> think of jerky and they think, give me a salt oh, lick. Oh, it's yeah, a salt exactly. lick. The meat, the meat, there's salt no meat, meat right, flavor. Right. There's there's nothing but, but, but this, That's this it. venison, this, I mean, these have real flavor to them. Real oh, yeah. depth of flavor to we got them, one, too. Yeah, yeah, we got one more. We got uh, pork and alligator, you know, for your for both nutritional balance. Pork and alligator. The two healthiest of the animals out there. <laughs> um... I'm gonna to try to I, try to convert you to the gator because you didn't you didn't like the gator. Huge, I, I hate to disappoint folks because I, I I know I have a reputation, but pork alligator salt. Listen, no. I don't want to have, listen. Gators are good creatures. I don't. I you just don't want, don't want them, to eat them. You don't want your head in, just, in their jaws. Uh, Those are your thing. favorite of all of these. Um, I'm gonna go back actually to the, the well the, the pheasant elk. was fantastic, good. but I gotta say it, the elk was just great for me. And this the spicy one was great too. So we actually have three. So Anthony, our cameraman, likes the wild boar. You wild like boar. the jerk. Uh, I kind of think the elk jerky. was my favorite. I like the buffalo. So it's all, Wait, I'm all different try. tastes. It's from my favorite, Slim Jim. You like the this more one, conventional Slim Jim. I don't like this. I like. This yeah, this this was a that's that's kind of course, and I like the I like the gator. I think the gator needs a little just a little like a little spice or something to it. So anyway, so there are um, about two hundred kinds of jerky in the store, and they also have uh, uh, hot sauces. Uh, barbecue sauces, you know, so, but the, the selection, you can sample pretty much, you, know, you can sample about 40 different things and, you know, you can ask them and they'll, and they'll pull out a sample. Others you have to buy, so you'll see that on my expense mm -hmm. account. Um, mm -hmm. uh, but I, tr I will try about 50 all together and then the story, which will run probably early next week, I'll rank like in the 10 favorite. Well, I, I hope the elk and this, this buffalo jerky both perform yeah, uh, I think both those are both to be, well, yeah. Because yeah. this is some really, really impressive um, you know, off the beaten track stuff. You don't usually think of gourmet jerky, and Atlantic City is just out of the same. It makes sense. It all, Atlantic City automatically the center of the uh, East Coast jerky universe. Uh, who even knew there was a universe to begin with? Atlantic City, though, is. In Can I use Jerky Boys in the, the headline? The center of it. Don't call me Jerky Jerky. Um, Pete, what else is going on? So last weekend you went to after, in between jerky eating, uh, you eat. ate something even healthier: chili dogs. Well, I'm not sure they're healthier. <laughs> I was being ironic. These are, okay. Yeah, chili dogs. If I have to get a hot dog, I always I'll go for the chili dog. It's something about a chili, a messy, sloppy, spicy chili dog. You know, with, with a nice soft bun and, uh, you know, good beef and pork hot dog. 
And uh, like I said, I want that chili to have a little bite to it, a little kick to it. You know, it's nothing worse than bland assembly line chili. So we went to 11 places 11. one day. I, I kept pushing the munchers. I think they thought they were going to be done by like 4 o'clock. And I'm like, uh, no, we got another, we got another uh, one. couple more and then a couple more after that. But they hung in there, so we did 11 uh, from top of the state. We were literally actually in New York State at one point because we had a sort of, we were following the, the directions and we actually crossed the line. Uh, I think there might be outstanding warrants now against us because we took a hot dog across state lines. So we turned. So we were in Norwood, which is as far north in Vernon County. And we got to all the way down to Middlesex and Dunellen, big names, and the and the winner will be. We shall see. It could be again this Munchmobile this year. We've had the winners coming out out of the left field, places that a lot of people don't know. We'll see what happens this week. Did anyone become ill no. after eating no, no. eleven chili dogs? No. no. We, okay, uh, these, we these are stronger the souls, Munchmobile. stronger souls than myself. Um, any, well, these people, they know they sign up they for that know particular what trip. Into. They, these are these are hot dog lovers who went on the chili dog trip. Eleven, and, and we didn't have to crank up the windows or turn the uh, AC, <laughs> <laughs> crank down the windows or turn up the AC any higher. No, they they behave themselves. Um, I, I mean, I my, I have a, like heartburn just hearing about this. But, but what what were the were the, were the big um, you know are we seeing any interesting kind of combinations? Is different kinds of chilies, different kinds of, of combinations of, of dog and chili, or, or just pure classics? No, or, I mean, or all most of these chilies are they're homemade. So uh, you know, some will be spicy. I like a spicier chili. You know, some were a little spicier than others. Others were just bland. And, and uh, I think just reading through the reports, I think there seemed to be consensus on which were good and which were not so good. Passaic County, the one thing about Passaic County, I mean, Passaic County, you can argue it's the center. I mean, I argued a month or two ago that New Jersey is the center of the hot dog universe because we had a, you know, Italian hot dog came from here, the chili dog came from here. We probably have more hot dog joints than anywhere else on earth. Uh, but Passaic County in particular, and, and Clifton and Patterson have, if, if you love hot dogs, you want to live in Passaic County. And their chili has a sort of very, very distinct taste, which pretty much any uh, hot dog place in Passaic County, it sort of has a nutmeggy, cinnamony taste. You can tell right away what county you're in, blind test by tasting the chili, because all the chilies that I've had in Passaic County have that sort of nutmeggy taste. Even in Bergen County right next door, it tastes totally different. Hmm. Uh, so there's that's that's probably the big difference. Uh, one of my things, I mentioned this last time, one of my things with chili dogs is mess. The bun breaks up, you got all this gook on your hands. Uh, do, are we looking at some good chili dogs that actually hold together? I think all these did. Maybe you're, uh, you know, you breaking have, up I your hot dog. I have from like childhood. A, I don't yeah, know. I was just going to say, it I sounds eat. like you're a kid. Like you're trying to, you're supposed to eat it whole. You know, yeah. you eat the whole. Like, no, I, I understand. Yeah. But, but the, the, you know, sometimes the chili seeps into the bun. The bun gets soggy, falls apart in the middle. Napkins, from the bottom. Well, the napkins from the, always and have the napkins. This is my greatest hot dog pet peeve. Oh, I'm here sure it is. the folks, folks, I'm going to do a little demo for you. That's my. Oh, this is your sticker. I'm sorry. But uh, so it, 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 this is the bun, folks. Yeah. The, 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 you're going to have to imagine the. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Oh, that was good. We didn't even plan that, as you can tell. So the chili goes on. It seeps in through right. the inside, right. it's not and going the anywhere. bun breach occurs bun from breach. the bottom in Maybe. the middle. Drives me batty, and I just go. Ugh. You mean the bun just breaks? Or yeah, just, yeah, no. There's a total breach, through. and the bun breaks, and my hands are a mess, and I'm like, this is disgusting. I can't even eat it anymore. I think you need to go to hot dog. You're, t you're going to school for something, right? After, after I am. Work. I have class I think later. you need to hot dog one. Hot dog bun making. Hot dog, no, hot dog etiquette. Hot dog. How to eat a hot dog, sort of thing. There's got to be a video somewhere which shows how to eat a hot dog. I I think so you breach, are this hot dog breach, which you, I've never heard of until this moment. You are being ever. much too generous to the makers of the hot dogs of the, of the world. I've never had this problem occur because, to me. Because I, I mean, unless you're unless you're you're go, unless you're totally gobbling it down. No. If you're a civilized person like myself, oh. who watches Downton Abbey, oh, oh. Um, where they don't eat hot dogs, they don't eat hot dogs. Uh, like you, you know, um, a key, you know, you take your time, the bun falls apart, and then you're you're in a bad place. Again, I've never you're had that happen to place. me. All right, I'm but, I, you know, I'm yeah, just saying. maybe you're maybe you should stop going. To, we really, you know, uh, we're gonna have to do a field trip one day for for our regular viewers, and 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 maybe I'll show you guys what I'm talking soft serve. about. Soft serve. Soft serve. Soft serve and hot dogs. Actually, dogs. Soft serve and my, hot dogs. my two worst That's nightmares back to back. Soft serve and, <laughs> and freak out. Freak uh, out. Well, don't get me started again on soft serve. It's disgusting. Uh, Pete, what else? We got anything else coming up next week? Well, Munchmobile is done. We are uh, done for the summer. Wise, Happy summer. Yay! Vacation looms. Uh, we are going to do oh, fat sandwiches. We're going to do a fat sandwich 
kind of showdown. Obviously, go down to Rutgers, the, the, the grease trucks, are, which are still there. A lot of people think, think they disappear, but they're still there. They're scattered in different campuses. And we want to try people, to find the ultimate. Yeah, we want people to send us some suggestions about what your favorite fat right. sandwich is. Fat fan, what we, goes in it. we wanted to find the one thing even on less healthy than a chili dog. And we said, oh, yeah, well, fat sandwiches. We yes. said, let's Everything, look at the fat sandwiches, including the, the kitchen sink goes um, in. Yeah. So that's so people should start start looking uh, looking forward to that and and looking forward to our chats because I know nothing about fat sandwiches. I have no knowledge of them. I've never tasted one of them. This is going to be a real education Ooh, for me. bring one back for next week. This is going to be a real education oh for me God. to look forward to in our well, future you need a video bond chats. Bond oh, the yeah, thing is with the bun, the bun breach. Uh, the, you, you will, I think you're going to need a blindfold to eat this because you're not going to, if you look at it, you're not going to eat it. You're not going to want to eat it. I can guarantee you right now. Once you see what's inside, you know, they stuff the mozzarella sticks, the ketchup, the onion rings, french fries, meat of unspecified origin, you know, the mustard. What? Everything goes in. That's why they call what it fat sandwich. What kind of selling point is it? Well, don't look at it. Just eat it. That it's seems to me the opposite of a selling point. Cut. What? College students. Eh? Yeah. And, and the attraction was these grease trucks at Rutgers used to be open at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. So, and I've argued, uh, you know, I've had enough of these fat sandwiches. I have argued for, until the end of time or for many years that they would best enjoy it at 3 o'clock in the morning after you spend a night at the College Avenue bars. You know, where every three o'clock in the morning when everything tastes wonderful and but but again you, you didn't go to Rutgers, you weren't really a Rutgers student unless you had went to the grease trucks. I mean that was part of the orientation. You had to go to the Rutgers Street trucks um, known for their fat sandwiches. All right, well we're gonna talk about fat sandwiches more in the coming weeks. I'll be curious to know if there's a fat sandwich that's good for say an episode of Downton Abbey around, <laughs> around eight o'clock under the covers I kinda doubt on a it. Sunday night. Yeah, uh, until next time, this has been Christopher Kelly. Pete Genovese. Hey. Enjoy your jerky. Ha, ha, ha.